வணக்கம் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ட்ரினிட்டி கல்ச்சுரல் அகாடமி கோயம்புத்தூர் அண்ட் நியூ இண்டியா பப்ளிஷிங் ஏஜென்சி நியூ டெல்லி வெல்கம்ஸ் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஃபார் திஸ் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் ஐ ஆம் டாக்டர் வணங்காமுடி அண்ட் ப்ரெசென்டிங் ஆன் தி ப்ரொட்டக்ஷன் ஆஃப் பிளான்ட் வெரைட்டி அண்ட் ஃபார்மர்ஸ் ரைட் ஆக்ட் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த எயிட்டீன்த் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் பிளான்ட் ப்ரீடிங் அண்ட் வாட் யூ மீன் பை தி PPVFRA Act with the signing of TRIPS agreement the World Trade Organization India has agreed to provide protection of plant varieties and government of India enacted PPV and FRA Act in 2001 and the regulations including rules are implemented and formulated in 2003 The Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare is the nodal agency for implementing PPV FRA Act through the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Right Authority which came into force in November 2005. And this act has 11 chapters, 4 schedules and 97 sections. And if you take the notable features of act, this legislation gives concurrent attention to the rights of farmers breeders and researchers and protection of public interest to establish an effective system of protection of plant varieties to recognize the rights of farmers for their contribution to evolve the farmers variety to promote food security and eradicating inequality through competitive plant breeding and the main objectives are to recognize and protect farmers right for the contribution made at any time in conserving improving and making available plant genetic resources for the development of new plant varieties to encourage the development of new varieties of plants and also to accelerate agriculture development and protect plant breeders rights and to stimulate investment in research and development for breeding new varieties and the last objective is to facilitate the growth of seed industry to ensure the availability of good quality seeds not only that but also the planting material to the farmers the salient features of the act the first one is the farmers right it is mentioned in the section 39 of the act 2001 ppv fr act during the long tradition of agriculture farmers have selected plant types for specific traits and product value they considered improved and selected variety out of both wild and domesticated gem blossom they also contributed for the development of new varieties and intellectually towards variety improvement and they should be recognized and rewarded and the farmers right uh, i have given the flow chart here the first one is recognition and rewarding the farmers for conserving the land development of uh, the farmers varieties farmers has right to save use sow re-sow and exchange share or sell his farm produce including seeds of variety protected under the act in the same manner as he was entitled before coming into the force of this act provided that the farmer shall not be entitled to sell branded seed of a variety protected under this act which is more important the breeder shall disclose to the farmers the expected performance of the variety under the given conditions the farmers are exempted from any fees for any proceeding before the authority and the farmers variety shall be registered if they fulfill the das that is distinctness uniformity and stability criteria as per the ppv fra act 2001 rules and regulation farmers variety evaluation process the land race 
there is nothing but the mixture of all sorts of varieties folk variety heterogeneous population and farmers variety it's a traditional more uniform and distinct characteristics and the next one is the breeders right it comes under the section 27 as well as 28 breeder of a registered variety shall have an exclusive right to produce sell market distribute import and export of the variety the criteria for protection and registration of varieties and they have to test the novelty of the variety it is nothing but it should not have been commercially exploited more than one year and the next criteria is a distinctiveness if the characters are distinguishable from other varieties and the third one is uniformity it should be uniform in appearance in specified environment and stability the fourth one stable in appearance over successive generation in specified environment the extant variety means a variety available in india which is notified under section 5 of the seed act 1966 or farmers variety or a variety about which there is common knowledge or any other variety which is in public domain in the case of extant variety unless the breeder or his successor establishes their or his right the central government and in the case where such extant variety is notified for a state or any area under section 5 of the seed act 1966 of the state government shall be deemed to be the owner of such right either the state government or the central government is the owner of the the extant variety essentially derived variety a variety essentially derived from an initial variety that can also be registered or protected provided that it differs from the initial variety for at least one character and meets the DUS needs. There must be an authorization by the breeder for the initial variety to the breeder of the EDV based on mutually agreed terms and conditions material derived through the single gene transfer recurrent back cross cms line mutant somoclonal variants chimera poly embryo ploidy level changes and deletion and substitution lines can come under edv essentially derived variety the researchers right researchers shall have right to use registered plant variety for experiments and research purpose as uh, as an initial source of variation for the purpose of creating other new varieties except the repeated use of a protected variety for commercial production of another variety that should be avoided and the duration of the protection of varieties and there are about 18 years in the case of trees and vines 15 years for other crops and in the case of trees and vines the initially the certificate of registration shall be valid for nine years and can be reviewed and renewed for the remaining period on payment of fees and for the other crops uh, that will be given protection for 15 years initially the certificate of registration shall be valid for six years and can be reviewed and renewed for the remaining period on payment of fees in the case of extant varieties 15 years from the date of notification of that variety by the central government under section 5 of the seed act 1966 in all the cases an annual fee and renewal fee shall be paid on the registered material for the registration purposes and the act uh, covers all plants except micros for registration of plant varieties plants species falling under food crops oil seeds fibers fodder crops spices 
aromatic and medicinal plants, vegetables, fruits, ornamental crops, plantation crops, biofuel plants, mulberry, kusum that is nothing but the Ceylon oak or lac tree, bur, palas is also the flame of the forest or parrot tree, forest trees, urban trees, mangroves will be gradually brought under the act. Authority has started the registration of plant varieties covering 12 plant species, mostly the cereals, pulses, fodder and vegetables from May 20, 2007 onwards. Under the Act, any variation within the species that satisfy the definition of the varieties and fulfill the criteria of dust can be registered. And how to apply for registration? This is a flow chart. There are two types of application forms. First one is for new extant farmers variety. And the second application form is exclusively for essentially derived varieties. And the applicant has to submit PPV FRA, the duly filled in form along with the technical questionnaire and other enclosures. The applicant has also submit to the authority the stipulated amount of seed testing fees and for keeping in the gene bank along with the prescribed fees. The dust test for the identified 12 species will be done using the field expertise of the ICR and the state agriculture university system which has been funded by the authority. After examining the application form and conducting dust test, the eligible variety shall be registered by the authority and the certificate of registration shall be issued to the applicants. Farmers are not to pay and fee to get material registered under the Act. Benefit sharing and registration of varieties. On registration of the variety, any person or group of person may submit his claim of benefit sharing in the prescribed form with the prescribed fee to the authority if the material has been used in the development of that variety. The authority shall take decision on the matter after considering the following points. The extent and the nature of use of genetic materials in the development of new varieties relating to which benefit sharing has been claimed. Commercial utility and demand in the market of the variety is also to be considered and important attachments with the application forms are technical questionnaire and affidavit that the terminal technology and the genetic use restriction technology are not involved and they have to pay, pay the testing fees and registration of varieties was done. In the first phase, there are about 12 crops uh, have been identified for registration in first batch and mostly they are rice, bread beet, maize, sorghum, pearl millet, chickpea, pigeon pea, green gram, black gram, lentil, field pea and kidney pea. And there is a compulsory licensing under the section 47 of the Act after expiry of three years from issue of certificate of registration. And now we can see the gene, uh, the national gene fund. It comes under the section 45 of the PPV FOI Act. And it is established and will receive contribution from annual fees, benefit sharing, contribution and the gene fund shall be utilized for benefit sharing, compensation and on-farm conservation and a sustainable use of land races and traditional varieties. And the, here is the flow chart, uh, the, I mean, I'm sorry, flow of national gene fund. It comes under the section 45 of the Act. And one is from compensation amount deposited contribution from national and international organization, annual fee and benefit sharing amount deposited, reimbursement of benefit shares, reimbursement of compensation, supporting conservation, any other activity indicated 
in the act these are all contributing for the gene fund and the plant variety journal of india that is pvj of india it the authority uh, is publishing plant variety journal of india which contains information pertaining to registration of plant varieties including details of registered varieties and several other transactions related to the act the periodicity is four issues per year and the last one the plant variety registry the national register for plant varieties is being maintained at the head office and register contains the name of the registered plant variety with name and address rights of the breeders and particulars of the denomination of the registered variety and thank you very much for listening my presentation kindly watch this video and give your likeness share this video to your friends as well as the whatsapp groups kindly comment on this presentation and subscribe the youtube channel thank you very much